Mr. Ron is in the house, bitches. Ron, you're late. You were supposed to be here two hours ago. According to the reports I get back from your customers, you have been late to many appointments as well. Funny. I just got the report you are late for your fucking period. Guess that mildly retarded black guy who begs for change outside the office is gonna become a daddy. Thoughts another thing from your ASR reports. Seems many of your customers say you're rude and obnoxious. Maybe you would actually have a chance to meet your quarterly goals if you changed your attitude. What the fuck? Don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. We all know those fucking goals are not attainable. Only a carrot to dangle in front of this old donkey's head so he will keep working. I put in 70 hours a week at this fucking job and make just enough to fill up my car with gas and keep my blood alcohol level higher than my high school GP. Every night I go home and my wife and daughter put me on a suicide watch. And they hide my fucking belt and tie so I don't hang myself. Then I drink enough vodka to bring down a charging rhino and go to bed and play dead. Like a possum. So I don't have to have sex with my wife. Unfortunately I wake up much like Groundhog Day, it starts all over again. There are other problems as well. Seems there have been various reports that you had sex in the bathroom with that Brazilian temp who filled in last week. Is that true, Ron? Are you even listening to me? Oh I'm listening alright. My pants are getting tight just thinking about it. Guilty as charged. I banged her like a judge's gavel. Is that gonna be a problem because technically she isn't even an employee of the company? We already have our team of corporate lawyers looking into it as we speak. We're not even sure how you managed to do it. She only speaks Portuguese. Not a lick of English. Well she certainly had a big lick of one last Thursday. To be honest it's really not my fault. Let me paint the canvas for you. Sexually. I'm an opportunistic hunter. I'm not unlike a giant old crocodile. He waits around at his watering hole. Day. After day after day. Just waiting for some tasty prey to come within his reach and when something does, it explodes out of the water. Grabs its prey. And takes it down for the death roll and finally to its lair for a sweet feast. Only in this case my watering hole is this office. My prey was the Brazilian. And my lair was stall number two in the men's room. For God's sakes. Look at all the trolls you hired in this office. I mean there are a couple of ones who are office hot but the Brazilian was Maxim. Real world fucking hot. I'm gonna have to blame the company on this one. I was really just following my animal instincts. That leads me to our next problem. Seems there are many questionable charges on the corporate credit card. Can you explain the $85 charge on the 12th of this month? At a place called Asian Bang Bang Massage as well as $90. On the 17th. At an establishment called the Suki Suki Massage Parlor. The list goes on and on. I have fucking clients up my ass all day long, I have to drive 5 hours a day to make my appointments and if I'm lucky enough to actually trick someone into buying from this god awful company I get rewarded with a stack of paperwork. That is thicker. Than war and peace. So maybe just maybe if getting a rub and tug from a sexiation gets me through the day without sticking a gun in my mouth it's money well spent after all these problems we decided to monitor your texts and emails care to explain the nude photos of the general manager's daughter that are currently on your iphone my god ron she just graduated high school after a long stint in rehab what can i say mr ron likes his women like his whiskey 18 years old and mixed up with coke. Just kidding I won't lie to you. Just looking at that young piece of ass gets me harder. Than Chinese calculus. But to be honest, she must have gotten my number off the company phone list. I've been all over her radar since I took my shirt off at that company softball game when she was 10. Damn this sexy body. Now it's gone and ruined another life. 
We activated the GPS on your iPhone. We've tracked you to the ale house every day for the past month. Apparently you have not been running any of your leads. Hold the fuck up. First of all the leads are weak. And since when is it a crime for a man to stop for lunch and order 20 or 30 vodka drinks without Big Brother sticking a fucking low jack up his ass? You listen up dream killer. Don't tell me how to do my job. I don't barge into your office and slap the dick out of your mouth when you're working so I expect the same courtesy from you.